Hi guys, welcome back to HowMachineWorks.com. Today let's learn how the auxiliary relief valve protects the hydraulic ram. So we will explain with the help of a basic hydraulic circuit. Watch the entire video and learn it. So now let's identify all the components of the basic hydraulic circuit. So this is the reservoir where we store the hydraulic fluid. Here we have the hydraulic pump. This is the main relief valve. Then we have the valve block or the direction control valve. So here we have the two auxiliary relief valves and this is our hydraulic rod. So now let's see and how auxiliary relief valve protects the hydraulic rod. When the pump functions, the flow goes in this direction. It goes and reaches the valve block. So as we move the valve block lever, the flow will get rooted towards the hydraulic rod. And we have selected the direction control valve into neutral. So there is no flow going back towards the hydraulic tank that means there is no return line the return line is closed so we have oil in the head side of the ram and also we have oil in the rod side of the ram at this stage if we have an extra pressure happening on the hydraulic ram so it is loaded say if we are loading for a thousand kg and if an additional pressure happens to the hydraulic ram, an extra load is happening over here there is a chance for the hydraulic ram to go down like this so if that pressure is happening the oil at the head side have to escape towards the return line and go towards the hydraulic tank but as the valve block is in neutral both the return lines are blocked so there is no way for the oil to escape so as for pascal's law what happens is that this load acting in return towards the hydraulic ram will be spread equally all over the hydraulic ram and over the hydraulic hoses so which is the weakest part of the system will bust so normally the hose is the weakest part so there are chances for the hose to bust and if it is not busting there can be more chances that this hydraulic cylinder can bulge or the hydraulic rod can bend so such failures can happen so to avoid such failures and thereby protecting the hydraulic ram we have auxiliary relief valve both in the head side and rod side of the hydraulic ram when the excess pressure is coming it comes over here like this and hits the auxiliary relief valve and the auxiliary relief valve moves and you can see this arrow gets aligned so the excess pressure will be vented through the auxiliary relief valve in this direction and it goes towards the return line you can see it goes back towards the hydraulic tank thereby protecting the hydraulic rod so the same is applicable towards the head side of the auxiliary relief valve also if the excess pressure is happening over here that will be vented through this auxiliary relief valve and goes towards the return line and the pressure is getting released. So to summarize the whole topic, we can say that the function of the auxiliary relief valve is to protect the hydraulic ram thereby venting out the excess pressure happening in the hydraulic ram and that flow will be redirected through the auxiliary relief valve by opening it up and that escapes towards the return line and reaches the hydraulic tank. So we believe you understand the working of auxiliary relief valve and how it protects the hydraulic ram. Please click the subscribe button for getting updates. We'll be uploading technical videos on a daily basis. Please visit our website howmachineworks.com or our YouTube channel for more such technical videos. Please click the like button, comment or share to motivate our team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.